Welcome to Fitbit's Scientific 7-Minute Workout. Unlike our usual sessions, this one's focused on speed and intensity. So make sure you pump out as many reps as you can during each 30-second interval. And don't spend too much time rating each exercise. This workout is all about the speed, so keep that intensity high. And remember, it is only 7 minutes, so make them count. Hoorah! Jumping jacks. If you want to add some rhythm to your workout, clap your hands overhead. Your calves, glutes, abs, shoulders, and upper back are all getting some love with this move. Stay light on the balls of your feet to take any added pressure off your knees. Stand tall throughout the move. Keep your head up. Yes! Wall squat hold. For an added challenge, hold your arms out in front of you. Flex those abs. Let your legs do the work here. Keep your arms off of your legs and the wall. Keep your knees from falling inward towards your big toes. Keep your chin up, head tall, and shoulders down and away from your ears. High five! Push-ups. Push the ground away from you instead of pushing yourself up from the ground. Think of this one as a moving plank. Your body should stay straight and strong. Leave the bouncing for the basketball court. Control your body weight at the bottom of the rep. Create a straight line from the back of your head all the way down to your heels. This is phenomenal stuff right here. Crunches. Don't strain your neck. Use your back and obliques. Stay in control. You should be able to stop your motion at any point during the exercise. Take a big exhale as you squeeze your abs and lift your upper back off the floor. Keep your lower back on the floor. Oh yeah! Woo! Step ups. To challenge your stability, keep your second foot in the air as you lift your body up to stand on the bench. Hit those glutes, quads, hamstrings, and calves with one simple exercise. Place your whole foot on the bench. Hit those glutes, quads, hamstrings, and calves.
Woo! Body weight squats. Picking a spot to focus your gaze will help keep your head and chest up throughout the motion. Imagine someone's going to poke you in your stomach and keep your abs flexed throughout. As you squat down, keep your knees in line with your feet. Don't let your knees track past your toes. Ideally, your knees should sit above your ankles. This is phenomenal stuff right here. Bench dips. If the motion's uncomfortable for your elbows, try widening your hand position. Think about keeping your elbows in one spot throughout. Try not to let them flare in and out. Inhale as you lower your body, then exhale as you extend your triceps. You can move your feet closer to put a bend in your knees and lighten the lift. Oh man, you're looking so strong. Forearm plank. This is a classic isometric exercise. Your joints aren't moving, but you're building a solid core. Straighten your legs, but don't lock out your knees. Your head should be in line with your back. Pick a spot a foot in front of you to neutralize your neck. Focus on engaging your abs and glutes to keep your hips level. That is great, great stuff right there. Keep it up. High knees. Keep breathing. Those high knees need oxygen. Try and keep a steady pace. Can you lift your knees a little higher with each step? Pumping your arms will really help you move your legs. You don't want to drop into your heels. Think about staying up on your toes. Stay light on the balls of your feet. Yeah, there you go. Lunges. Keep your front knee from falling inward towards your big toe. A steady rhythm will help keep you moving. Keep your chin up and shoulders square. Don't let that front knee come past your toes. Exhale as you press through your heel. If you have too much weight on your back leg, it can cause pain in your knee. You nailed it!
side plank push-ups. Your core is working just as hard as your chest and triceps with this one. Control your momentum throughout the movement. Try not to bounce at the bottom. Lots of benefit for your chest, arms, and core with this exercise. Forcibly push the floor away, but control your arm as you raise your hand toward the sky. And done! Woo! Forearm side plank left. Reach that top arm towards the sky to help with your lift and balance. Keep your hips stacked so they're perpendicular to the ground. Looking like an athlete. Forearm side plank right. Imagine creating a straight line with your planted arm through your chest up to your skyward hand. Reach that top arm towards the sky to help with your lift and balance. Done! Yeah!